Hi my dear friends, welcome to HSC S Product channel. Friends, today our topic is mobile crane safety. Friends, in this video we are going to discuss safety devices in mobile crane, mobile crane hazards and precautions. Friends, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel and press bell icon and also activate notification tab. Then only you will get notification when we upload HSC related videos. Thank you. Let us start video now. Friends, you will understand here what is crane. A crane is a significant type of construction machine that's utilized to move the loads horizontally, equipped with a hoist rope, cable ropes, and shoes. It may be used to lift heavy loads or transport them to other places. Safety devices in mobile crane. Friends, there are some safety devices in mobile crane which will be very useful for uh, safe operation like anti tube lock devices, automatic safe load indicator, boom angle and radius indicator, boom length sensor indicator and anemometer friends here we will discuss mobile crane each safety device function in detail first one is anti to blocking device friends anti to blocking device is very important role in mobile crane anti to blocking device are electrically sensing device these devices installed on the crane to prevent the headache ball from hitting the shoes if such contact causes the line to break and the anti to blocking device consists of a weighted ring around the host line. You can see here the ring is suspended on a chain from a limit switch that is attached to the boom tip. Second safety device is automatic safe load indicator. Friends, this automatic safe load indicator also very important function in mobile crane and other cranes. Friends, you can see here automatic safe load indicator display will be like this. A safe load indicator or automatic safe load indicator is a device which is installed on mobile or portable cranes to alert the operator if the lift is exceeding the safe operating range of the machinery. Friends, in some cases, the device will be physically lock the machinery. In circumstances, it determines to be unsafe. Third safety device is boom angle indicator. Friends, boom angle indicators are normally mounted on the back side of a boom where they can easily read by the operator. They are used as quickly a reference for the operator to know what angle the boom at. Friends, boom angle indicators are designed to improve the boom operator's ability to detect tip over the situation. Fourth safety device is boom length sensor. Friends, boom length sensor is used to install on the boom of the crane, working together with computer to monitor the length and angle of the boom and also control the height of the crane. Friends, here boom length also play a very important role in the crane safety control system. Fifth safety device is anemometer. Friends, anemometer used to determine safe wind speed operating conditions on mobile cranes and also cranes are prohibited from operating in high wind speeds. So friends, here we covered all safety devices in mobile cranes. Mobile crane hazards. Friends, you will see here some main mobile crane hazards like equipment failure, fall off load, load hitting any plant facility, crane collapse, improper slinging, crane hitting plant facilities, unauthorized personal entry, adverse weather condition, suspended load, uncertified crane in use, working near overhead power lines, uneven ground conditions. Safety precautions while using mobile crane. Before any lifting activity, obtain work permit and prepare lifting plan. Crane must be third party certified with valid inspection certificate. All lifting tackles must be third party certified and color coded with valid certificate available. All lifting tackles must be visually checked before use for any damage. Correct lifting angle must be used for lifting 60 degree is the best lifting angle. Correct capacity of slinging and shackles must be used for lifting as per weight and shape of the load. Check the swing radius of the crane and ensure that it is unobstructed by any facility. Ensure that crane is positioned correctly. Tagline must be used to control the load and avoid hitting any plant facility like pipeline equipment. Always follow load chart for lifting any load. Automatic safe load indicator must be operative condition and crane operator must not lift any load out of the load chart limit. Check wind speed and do not lift when wind speed is more than 25 knots. Use wooden mats under the crane outriggers to distribute the load. Do not position the crane outriggers nearby drain line excavations. Otherwise, there is a chances of sinking of the outriggers resulting in crane tipping over. A trained bunksman must be guide the crane when moving inside the plant. 
टू रिगर मस्ट बी असाइंड वन गाइडिंग एट द फ्रंट ऑफ दि क्रेन अदर एट द बैक साइड क्रेन पोजिशनिंग मस्ट बी चेकड वाया साइट विजिट एंड मार्कड ऑन प्लॉट प्लान ऑफ दि प्लांट एंड इंश्योर दैट ग्राउंड इज स्टेबल फॉर बेयरिंग क्रेन वेट always provide barricades and proper signages to keep unauthorized personnel away from the lifting area provide mandatory ppes for the working force working near by hv line everything is very important because may be chances of induction from live line crane operator and riggers must be third party training certified additional safety precautions the crane operator line of sight to the designated signal man shall not be obstructed Avoid load swinging over the personal or traffic areas. Crane operator shall not leave the crane cap while the crane attached to the load. Crane shall be operated around power lines in accordance with the distance provided by 